Hey, what is up, Jim family? Uh, this is, I, I'm putting it out there for everybody, but it'll be most pertinent for those in the Nutrition Challenge. And I just wanted to talk about, I wanted to, to call this the mindset video, but I wanna to, to change it and really talk about how to get the most out of your time, money, and effort. How do you produce the best results? How can you, uh, going into the same program, how do some people get more results, better results, or faster results than others? So, uh, broken this down into a few different categories. We'll look at it from the, the front end and then migrate into uh, sort of the, the um, from top up or bottom down thinking however you want to phrase this. So, uh, I guess the first, the best way that you can come into any program, including this one, let's talk about a positive, active mindset, all right? So, so I wanted to call this mindset, but that doesn't really cover it, but a positive, active person is, this is, um, you know, somebody says, uh, prove to me it can't be done. Um, so you need to prove it's impossible, not uh, is it possible, is there evidence that's happened before. So, uh, you know, you can almost think about Elon Musk is very famous for talking about first order principles. So that would be a positive active mindset, but I will be the best, uh, winners win. So think about the, the first person to run a four minute mile, right? Is this actually impossible to do? No, then I'm gonna do it. And so that would be sort of the, the, the person who always gets the best results, this is the top of that stack. Are you coming in with a positive active mindset? So this person can go into a very bad thing, and I hope we're not delivering something bad. They can come into something terrible and still get great results, all right? So that's a positive active thinker. So from there, uh, positive passive, right? So this would be just a, a Step below, they're still positive, but passive in that they're not active. So if we use that mile analogy, well, somebody else has run a mile, so maybe I can. Or um, think if you're trying to learn a skill, I'm gonna replicate what my coach has done before I try to beat them. Maybe I can, but I'm gonna do exactly what they did first, and then we'll go from there, right? So it's possible, so I can do it, and that would be sort of the, the next down. The middle of this pack would be neutral and passive, right? So they're not uh, negative or positive, negative or positive, but they're neutral and passive. It's worked for others. I see there's lots of evidence. So let's see if it works for me. And this would be, let's say the majority of people coming into uh, a program. This would be where um, you know, marketers focus a lot of their attention to, right? It's like this group, because it's a majority, if it worked for others, the social proof, well, that's why they do this, right? Because uh, that group is the biggest, okay? The lower half, let's say, is negative and passive. They're, they're in a, maybe a poor mindset, and I hate to keep using that word, but they're not thinking positively, so they're negative, but it's not neutral, it's not nothing. So, it's worked for others, it probably won't work for me. Um, this person, typically I would say, doesn't put that energy and attention into either the learning or the onboarding, or, you, you know, I don't wanna talk about customers because you might think I'm talking about, you know, I would never do that. Um, but I have seen this with um, in mentorship groups that I've been a part of, right? So somebody working with a marketing agency says, well, I know it's worked for others, but my marketplace is special. My business is special. Let me tell you why it can't work for us. So that would be one way to identify this group or that nutrition plan I know it's worked for other people, but I'm a special human. My DNA is different. Um, that The beginning of that, I guess, the negative active is next, and they're, they're sort of the worst offender of this, but we'll get to them in a minute. Um, like, I know it's worked for others, but it won't work for me, and here are the reasons why. And that's, 
I would say neutral, but a little negative, uh, and they're passive, right? They're not actively trying to uh, not do well, they just don't think it will do well, all right? But that leads to, uh, I don't take the time to understand the directions, or I don't follow the directions, or I don't ask questions if I don't understand. All those things can be this fourth category of negative and passive. So the, the last, and, and I won't say the worst, but the bottom of this is a negative active person, okay? So I, I don't wanna say bottom of the barrel, but um, as results go, this negative active person uh, can be that, right? So something like, let's go to nutrition, uh, I can prove your system won't work. So they're being negative and they're being active about, I'll show you why it doesn't work for me, okay? Um, you may not be a negative, active person in everything you do, but probably where you are deficient, you are. So let's say at work, you may be uh, you know, number one or number two, and I, I kind of think all of you guys are rock stars outside of the gym, inside the gym too, but like you show up for your family or professionally positive and active or uh, positive passive, but you may show up for your nutrition. These are the, the most challenging, I don't want to say the worst, but the most challenging people to work with of, you know, I'm good somewhere else, but nutrition has never worked for me. They're taking that negative active role here. Now, the the best part about this group is they are active. And I will say, uh, especially in a gym setting, when they make a change, they become our best advocates. So it's just because you are in one place, you're not stuck there. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, so, you know, I would say that's the, the one star experience. If you can help them make the shift from, I've always been here and look, now I'm over here to uh, active and positive versus negative, they become a five-star customer, they get five-star results, or they, they kind of do a 180. Um, and, and I guess on these people, for what we do, uh, I would make the joke like, oh, you know, if, if we're in a weight loss scenario, you're telling me that if you eat less calories, you don't lose weight. So what you're really telling me is that your human body doesn't treat energy like all other human bodies. So you could stop eating and live forever. You won't die if you never eat food. It's just not possible, right? But it's hard to shift if you are one of these people, and, and I'll move on from this in a minute, but I think it's important. Um, if you are one of these people, like, don't actively try to... Don't be unhealthy and right. Just be fit and be right. Make that change for yourself. You, you owe it to yourself to do that. Um, but you can make that change uh, if you want to. So something to think about. And again, it's not like you're all these things or if you're one, you're there for everything, but, but just a way to... Um, Think about it, right? That that you could be different things in different places. All right. So now let's go. Let's go into outside of that that framework of how are you going to come into this for yourself. There is a second set. So uh, it, and I guess I'll wrap that up just for this conversation is a mindset position. But um, you you've got another end of this that people can come in. So, you know, and I, I talked in a, a video for the group doing this, and I know I'm putting this out there for everybody, but I talked to them about, you know, I've gained 10 pounds a year since I was born, and that is inappropriate. I'm supposed to be setting an example as the gym owner. Um, this is time to make a change, right? I'm coming into this having done it before, all right, and then uh, lost my progress, which is another thing that I need to change, but I've lost this weight before, and, and that is quite common, unfortunately, but I coach people on how to do it. I know exactly what to do, and because I've done it before, uh, I can make changes really quickly. I've already practiced my discipline of tracking things, of working out every day. I know how to recover for myself. I know how to fast well, so 
I've got a lot of the building blocks to get fast results coming into this already. If we start at zero for everybody on nutrition, I, I would have to talk about, here's how you use uh, a fork and spoon. Actually, I'd have to talk about chewing and swallowing too, which we're, we're not all starting at zero, but we don't know where everybody is starting from zero to 100%. And so there's gonna be a wide range in between of some of the soft skills you already have, some of them you don't. And that's where you can see mindset, if we use that category as part of this, uh, you know, sort of top-down approach, but the bottom-up approach of, okay, we came in both as positive passive or positive active people, but this person has been weight training for 10 years. They already have a solid base and higher metabolism than somebody who's brand new. Their results are going to be a little different. It's not because the program was bad, but they came into it a different place and from a different place. So... Uh, I hope that helps some people get better results than this, than me not having done this video. If this was not useful, please tell me so I can stop wasting your time and my time doing this. Uh, this is the second take. We're 11 minutes in. I prepared for it a little bit. Um, if it's not useful, we won't do it. But if you loved it, uh, maybe let somebody else know that it was useful and it could help them. All right. Uh, thank you guys. You rock. See you later.